Welcome back from spring break. It's time for another edition of Seahawks Central Sports. I'm Tess Barshbar. And I'm Kristen Dre. It was a busy week for UNCW athletes over the break, so let's catch you up on all the latest news. UNCW baseball fell to North Florida 12-11 in the finale of their three-game series. The Ospreys swept the Seahawks, led by powerful hitting as they averaged almost seven runs per game. UNCW remains winless on the road this season and will look to bounce back in a three-game home series versus Iona. Softball completed a busy weekend with a 10-3 victory over Presbyterian. Peyton Jordan, the starting pitcher for the Seahawks, allowed only three runs on four hits, while altogether striking out five batters. The Seahawks went 1-2 overall on the weekend as they hosted both Presbyterian and UNCG at the Hampton Inn Sweet Seahawks Invitational. They will host Columbia at Bozeman Field for a three-game series. Men's tennis fell to number 16 ranked South Florida on Sunday. The Seahawks were swept by the Bulls 4-0 and now have an even 6-6 six six record on the season. They will open up a five-match homestead this Friday, March 18th, against Yale at the UNCW Tennis Courts. Women's golf finished in sixth place at the Notre Dame Clover Cup. Annette Lynch led the team and finished in a tie for third. Lynch finished two over par, 74, and was fifth among the course with 12 birdies. Head coach Sydney Ho was overall pleased with the team's performance and their hard work. Beach Volleyball stands at 3-4 and four after the first seven games of their inaugural season. They picked up their latest win in a 3-2 match over Jacksonville March 8th. UNCW assistant coach David Fisher called it a fantastic finish to the team's opening week of volleyball play. They look to bring that momentum into their next match at College of Charleston, March 19th. That's all for this week's edition of Seahawks Central Sports. Thanks for tuning in. As always, I'm Tess Bargeberg. And I'm Kristen Dre. Have a great week, UNCW.